morning friends from the last day in Houston. The last day here at the Houstonian Hotel Club and Spa. We really looked after me, so thank you to you guys. I may look <laughs> pretty tired right now and half asleep, and that is because it is 5.30 a.m. heading to the airport, obviously, to get the first flight from Houston to LA. Finally heading home, so let's get this vlog started. Standing right here, eyes peer with my mind clear. Never look rear, only up, never down. Off the ground till I'm found. Hear the sound, listen to me now. As the beat pounds, every ass of my effort pouring out. So you never have a doubt. And we made it, we are in LA. Feeling pretty tired because, yes, it's been an early morning. I got maybe like an hour, maybe max two hours sleep on that plane from Houston to LA. Now a few hours wait before checking even opens with the flight from LA back to Melbourne. So just try not to fall asleep sitting here in the terminal with all my friends. Hey guys. <laughs> really just trying not to fall asleep. That battle I got right now. I'm probably gonna fall asleep pretty quick on this flight. I presume once we get on board and take off, it's 9 p.m. 9 p.m. departure from LA. I presume we'll get like supper or dinner and then I'm probably gonna sleep for a few hours. Okay, we made it through security, checked in, got some lunch. I have got like a build your own pizza for this place called like 800 degrees. Margarita pizza, chicken, pineapple, the spinach under there. I'm gonna get out of this. So it's health, stay hydrated, you know. But in LA, it's like, today is it here. Thursday? It's Friday? It's Friday. I think it's Friday. Yeah, it's Friday here. I guess Friday night. I'm gonna devour this. I guess look around the shops a little bit. Still have like three hours to start boarding. So yeah, your boy's gonna be this air for a long time. Hating my phone and trends. I'm about to blow my head. Nobody knows I'm dead. There I'm a ghost instead. Think that I'm close. I get straight on my toes and bed. Try to go slow with breath. Hit out my nose and head. Heart doesn't go the trend. Faster it goes instead. That's all you got, take it right now Before you get lost, yeah One shot, that's all you got Write your own story, you control the plot, yeah We are about to board right there as you can see It's quarter to nine now, so I left Houston, LA time at 3.30 I left the hotel in Houston at 3.30 in the morning So, I mean, this is the first time I'm going on Virgin's business class on the 777 So obviously I'm vlogging that for you guys I'm really, really tired, so I think I'm gonna sleep. I mean, it's 15 hours, 15 and a half hour flight, so obviously I won't be sleeping the whole time, so I'll still be able to vlog for you guys. That's just bored, so I can get to sleep, have some food. It's time to fly. One shot, that's all you got. Could drop dead blood clot, yeah. One shot, give it all you got, and never back down. No, I'm never gonna stop, yeah. One shot, that's all you got. I'll tell you guys for everything on this okay, seat. The final boarding door is about to be closed. But unfortunately, I don't have a window seat, so there's not gonna be any like time lapses or window footage, obviously, because I don't have window seats. Other than that, this seat so far, first impression. Amazing. All you got, take it right now, before you get lost, yeah. That's probably here we are, yeah. Like this little panel 
I don't know if you guys can see this stuff too well. I'm gonna leave that light on. Maybe your iPad or something in there. I think that basically is actually just for your iPad. Safety book and stuff in there. That's obviously if you're sitting with someone you actually know, you can pull that back. I don't know who's on the other side of that, so I'm not gonna pull that back, and I think they're sleeping anyway. Um, so that would be awkward, but you pull that back, and obviously, you know, like if I was driving with them, we would have that back, because obviously we could talk to each other and stuff. Just looks like a normal desk, I guess, right? But it's got all these like hidden compartments. Push this, got some hidden storage in there. And if you come over to this one, this pops up, and then in here you have the remote which controls out, which controls your entertainment screen. You have just like Qantas, uh, you have the AC power point, and then you have a USB power point here, which also charge my phone there, and that's where your headphones plug into there. Pretty self explanatory. Other than that, some more storage. Then you have the entertainment unit itself, which is massive. It's actually the breakfast car stuff to fill out, uh, so to wake up. And this is your tray table. You just pull that out, comes down here, comes like this. So yeah, it's right in front of you. And when you're done, it just like pushes back up into that little, that little area there. And then here, this controls the seat, so that controls the brightness of the light. This one controls those lights. So you push that one, and those lights will get on and off. And you like sweet and pod. Obviously, when you go to sleep, it's like your life light option starting to recline, I guess if you want to chill back and watch your movie, and obviously you can fully adjust it however you want with the controls there. I guess this may be hard to see because obviously it's night right now, but you have some more storage space down here, and then that's obviously when you go flat, that's where your feet are going to go, that's just an extra pillow. Little armrest there, and then if you come over here, this is on your right side, or left side, depending obviously on which you're sitting. There's another compartment in here, you push that, and there's noise cancelling headphones and a bottle of water. But overall, a few hours in, I feel very, very comfortable. I feel very secluded, like you're in your own little suite, I guess. To be honest, it feels more like a first class, similar to the 787, um, the that I came up on. And obviously now, like, they're obviously wanting people to go to sleep now. They obviously have changed the lights, and on the roof here, they have stars. Really cool, as you guys can see. It goes up and down. Both sides there, and there is a bar back there as well. Uh, I'll go back there quickly. I haven't been back there yet, and I'll go back there quickly just to show you guys. Before I get some sleep, I will show you guys the amenity kit. So, this is it. Oh, and these pajamas are really, really comfortable, as you guys can see, just like the Virgin logo there. I just don't know about this little gray thing around there. A massive fan of that, but they're really comfortable. So yeah, this is the amenity kit you get. The truck bag itself obviously has a virgin branding there, you guys can hear me. But this feels like a leather, it's, I don't think it's real leather, but it feels like it's real nice. So we have in here skincare stuff. Here, fruit, yogurt, juice, cornflakes, and then 
sourdough with some scrambled eggs, salmon and salted mushroom. And to finish a cappuccino. And that is going to conclude our flight. We started at the centre of Melbourne and we're almost home. Feeling a lot more awake so we'll be landing at like 5.45 am. Yeah, my plan will be to stay up as long as I can and then try to go to sleep tonight. I guess it's normal strain time and sleep straight back into a straight time. And again, unfortunately, because no window seats, so I can't get any footage of landing or anything like that. Yeah, landing in the morning is dark anyway. <laughs> And as you can see from behind me, back in Melbourne, and also, you can see like the, because it's that cold, you can see out of, I forget what that's called, the fog, the tip, anyway, the fog breath. But thank you guys for coming with me from the journey back home from Houston to Melbourne. It was a really, really good ride home. Uh, I'm feeling pretty awake. It's like 6 a.m. here right now. Well, it's about quarter past six to be totally honest with you guys, to be very accurate. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you for coming with me to the U.S. trip. If you haven't, there's two more videos from the U.S. trip uh, which you guys can check out. But thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all the support. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys very, very soon.